So when you think of Bose, you think of premium sound systems in stadiums, airports, and concert halls. But here's the twist. Bose has just chosen Mangaluru, not Silicon Valley, not Bengaluru, for its first dedicated R&D center outside its global headquarters. Why Mangaluru? And what does this mean for India's innovation story? Well, let's turn up the volume on this breakdown. Bose Professional has set up a new R&D facility in Mangaluru, focused on embedded software, apps, and cloud technologies. But it doesn't stop at engineering. As CEO John Mayer confirmed, the center will soon expand into sales, operations, and finance, making it a comprehensive global support hub. From one engineer at launch, the center has grown to 25 people and is scaling up to 75 members very soon. This isn't just a corporate move. It's actually validation of Karnataka's Beyond Bengaluru initiative. We just spoke about this yesterday with the CEO of KDEM, Mr. Sanjeev Kumar Gupta, where he spoke about this very extensively. Make sure to please check that out. So, here's Mangaluru's tech story in numbers. 20 plus engineering colleges, 80,000 plus students, 15,000 IT professionals, 3.35 lakh square feet plug and play infrastructure, 500 plus co working hubs, 4.5 lakh square feet IT parks under construction. So basically, from global giants like BASF to Indian champions like Infosys, Mangaluru has evolved into what's now being called the Silicon Beach of India. So, why now? Well, CEO John Meyer says Bose wants to move development in-house, cutting reliance on third parties, boosting efficiency, and accelerating innovation. This means faster delivery of software updates, more advanced pro audio products, and cutting-edge technology like AI integration to enhance customer experience. Here's the bigger play. For Karnataka, this is proof that tech growth doesn't stop at Bangaluru. Mangaluru is rising as a global innovation hub with the right mix of talent, infrastructure, and industry presence. For Bose, this hub isn't just about R&D. It's about embedding itself deeper into India's tech ecosystem, balancing premium brand identity with affordability and scalability. So the question really is, if Mangaluru can attract Bose, who's next?